Maverick is a grumpy little old man. He has about six different breeds, about a quarter lab, a quarter Shih Tzu, and then he is about 15% Chihuahua. My name is Nikki, and this is Mav's story for GeoBeats. Maverick is a little over four years old. He was rescued from East Texas. He was kept in the bed of a truck with his mom and his siblings in a wire crate. And still to this day, he has a lot of sensitivity to wire crates. My husband and I, we were engaged and getting ready to get married. And we were so excited to add a little puppy to our crew. We found him through a local rescue group and fell in love with him. A year later, Charlie was available through the same rescue. He had been adopted as a young puppy, but for whatever reason, they were not able to continue caring for him. He looked like Mav's brother, so we did a meet and greet. They loved each other, and then we've had him since. We call him our little wild man. He loves to get zoomies in the house. We had moved into our house in 2018 and found this beautiful couch. He started ripping out the stuffing. That couch was just completely destroyed within two years. We tried to get him outside so he can (laughs) terrorize the backyard rather than my couch or my bed. (laughs) He's about 25% lab, 25% miniature schnauzer, and then 20% American pit bull terrier. The rest are any number of 15 breeds. They almost have no breeds in common. Charlie and I probably have the closest bond, and then Maverick and my husband have the closest bond, which I'm very jealous of. (laughs) Maverick's personality is so different from Charlie's. He's very independent, and he likes to do his own thing during the day. When we're going to bed, Charlie is between my husband and I, snuggled in as close to us as possible. Maverick is at the foot of the bed and leaves most nights about halfway through the night and wants to go sleep on the couch alone. We totally respect his space, but we still have a really good bond. He's grown so much and become such a confident dog compared to where he was when he was a little puppy. North Texas is really struggling with shelter space and an overpopulation of dogs in general. So we started fostering last October and we now have our third foster dog. We started with Frankie, a senior female Chihuahua. She got adopted in November of last year. The best place to get a companion dog is a dog that needs a family. Dogs are very smart and they know when they've got a good thing going and they don't want to lose it. 